As I scrubbed the tiles, the smell of jick and other cleaning products filled the air, mixing with the faint scent of lavender from my favorite air freshener. I've always found cleaning therapeutic, a way to clear my mind and focus on the task at hand. It was one of those rare quiet afternoons when the sun poured through the window casting warm rays that danced on the bathroom walls. I was lost in my thoughts, scrubbing away the grime, when I heard a soft sound behind me, a gentle creak of the bathroom door. Startled, I turned, my heart racing. It was my stepson, Carmel. He stood there, leaning against the door frame, an amused smile playing on his lips. At 22, he had grown into a striking young man with tousled dark hair and deep-set brown eyes that sparkled with mischief. I felt a sudden rush of heat sweep over me, a mix of surprise and something else entirely. My cheeks flushed as I quickly wiped my hands on a towel, suddenly self-conscious of my frumpy cleaning outfit. Hey, he said, his voice low and casual, but there was a hint of something more, an undercurrent of tension that caught me off guard. I thought I'd find you here. Do you need help? I hesitated. It wasn't the first time Carmel had offered to help with chores, but this time felt different. The way he stood there, confident and relaxed, stirred something within me. I shook my head, trying to maintain a semblance of normalcy. No, I've got it under control. You should be studying or something, I replied, forcing a light tone to mask my embarrassment. Come on, it's the weekend, he said, stepping into the bathroom. His presence suddenly filled the small space. You've been working hard. Let me help. The tension in the air thickened as he reached for a sponge, his fingers brushing against mine. A spark of electricity shot through me, and I pulled back instinctively. Really, Carmel, it's fine, I insisted, but the words felt hollow even to my ears. There was something magnetic about his gaze, and I found myself captivated. He didn't back down. Instead, he smiled a mischievous, playful grin that made my heart flutter. I insist. Besides, I could use a break from studying. What's the worst that could happen? In that moment, I knew exactly what could happen, but the thought excited me more than it scared me. I nodded, surrendering to the unexpected turn of the afternoon. Okay, but just this once. As we worked side by side, the air crackled with unspoken tension. I couldn't help but steal glances at him, watching the way he concentrated on his task, the muscles in his arms flexing as he scrubbed the tub. It was a simple, mundane task, yet everything felt charged, alive. Each accidental brush of our arms sent shivers down my spine, awakening feelings I had buried deep inside. Why do you always clean the bathroom so thoroughly? He asked, breaking the comfortable silence that had settled between us. Most people just give it a quick once-over. I laughed lightly, trying to ease the tension. I guess I just like things to be spotless. It gives me a sense of control. Karma looked thoughtful for a moment before turning to me, his eyes piercing into mine. Sometimes, it's good to let go of control. You never know what surprises life might have in store for you. His words hung in the air, heavy with meaning. I felt my pulse quicken, a mixture of excitement and fear flooding through me. What was he implying? The atmosphere in the bathroom shifted, the playful banter giving way to something deeper, something I could no longer ignore. Before I could respond, he stepped closer, the warmth of his body radiating toward me. You know, I've always admired you. You're strong and capable. It's one of the things I respect most about you. His compliment struck me like a lightning bolt, igniting a fire within me. No one had ever looked at me like that, especially not someone so young, so vibrant. Thank you, I managed to say, my voice barely above a whisper. The air between us grew thick with tension, a palpable energy that pulled us closer together. I could see the desire flicker in his eyes, mirroring my own internal struggle. It was exhilarating and terrifying all at once. Do you ever think about what could happen if we crossed that line? He asked his voice low and serious. I felt my heart race at his words. The idea sent a thrill through me, but it also scared me to death. Carmel, we can't. It's complicated, I replied, trying to sound firm but failing miserably. Why not? He challenged, stepping even closer. You and I have this connection. I can feel it. Don't you want to explore it? His words hung in the air, heavy with promise. 
My mind raced with thoughts of what it would mean, what the consequences could be, but the pull between us was undeniable, and I found myself inching closer to him against my better judgment. Come on. I started, but he silenced me with a finger against my lips, his gaze intense. The world around us faded away, leaving just the two of us in this moment suspended in time. I want this, he said, his voice barely above a whisper. I want you. My breath caught in my throat as his words resonated deep within me. I felt the walls I had built around my heart begin to crumble. There was a part of me that wanted to say yes, to give in to this dangerous, exhilarating attraction. Before I could think twice, he closed the distance between us, his lips crashing against mine in a fervent kiss that sent shock waves through my body. The kiss was electric, igniting a fire I had buried for so long. I melted into him, returning the kiss with a passion I didn't know I had. The bathroom faded away, and for those precious moments, nothing else mattered. It was just us two souls colliding in a whirlwind of desire, fear, and exhilaration. When we finally pulled away, we were both breathless, our foreheads pressed together as we tried to process what had just happened. The reality of our situation crashed down on me, the implications weighing heavily on my mind. What did we just do? I breathed, my heart racing with a mix of thrill and panic. I don't know, Kamau admitted, a hint of a smile playing on his lips. But it felt right, didn't it? Right and wrong, I murmured, pulling away slightly to look into his eyes. We need to think about this. Maybe, he replied, brushing his thumb against my cheek. But sometimes, you just have to seize the moment. Life is too short to live with regrets. His words echoed in my mind, and I felt a rush of conflicting emotions. The thrill of what we had just shared battled with the caution that warned me to step back. But in that moment, all I wanted was to surrender to this unexpected, intoxicating connection. I don't want to regret this either, I confessed, feeling vulnerable and exposed. But we have to be careful, he promised softly, his gaze unwavering. I won't push you, but let's not pretend this isn't real. We can figure it out together. With that promise hanging in the air, I knew that our lives had changed forever. What had begun as a mundane afternoon of cleaning had transformed into a whirlwind of emotions, desires, and the tantalizing promise of what was yet to come. As we stood there on the precipice of something beautiful yet complicated, I couldn't help but wonder what surprises awaited us in the days to come. The tension between us simmered, each stolen glance and lingering touch a reminder of our newfound connection. In that small bathroom, we had crossed a line, one that would lead us into uncharted territory filled with excitement, uncertainty, and a love that defied the odds.